guys, what's up? Uh, let's today talk about course real estate. Of course, welcome back. Uh, but I want to talk about assets and liabilities in regards to real estate purchases. So you hear all the time, you know, how cars are depreciating assets and um, a home is an asset and compared to a car um, or, you know, luxury jewelry, luxury handbags, um, if they hold their value and that type of thing. So when you're talking about liability and assets, there's many ways to kind of associate that within your life in regards to things that you purchase or things that you own and what is in what category. Um, so in regards to real estate, it is seen as an asset because you can sell it, being that you have some equity in it and get a profit. However, it is still a liability. One, if your property is not making any money, it's a liability. Even if it is making money, it's still a liability because you have a mortgage on it. If you don't make the mortgage payment, um, they'll take your home. If you don't uh, pay your water bill, they can put a lien on your house. If you don't pay the taxes, they'll put a lien on your house. If you abandon your property for a couple years and it's now a blighted property, your tax rate skyrockets. I mean, it's insane. So there's so many ways how your house could still be a liability, but being an asset at the same time. So it's the American dream to own a home. It's just you need to be weary of what can make your house a liability and also have an exit strategy. So instead of, you know, you want to buy and hold, you want to uh, buy and flip? Do you want to rent it out? Do you want to um, build upon it and, and, and make it a bigger property if possible? Um, those types of things you need to think about when approaching real estate and also think about when you need to move on, you're moving on to another state or another job or another part of your life where you no longer need that property anymore. What is the best way to get rid of that property and liquidate it? Uh, so, you know, if you think about assets versus liabilities and kind of where things play and what category in your life. Um, I kind of just wanted to give a basis on where that comes from being that, you know, it costs money to maintain properties. Uh, it costs, um, you have a mortgage on it. So unless you own it outright, uh, there that's a liability as well. So there's a multitude of ways that this could be, um, seen as a liability, but it's an asset that could catapult you into wealth if done properly. So always think about your exit strategy, think about the costs involved and uh, stay ahead of them. Uh, and let me know if you have uh, what you think your property is to you and what you think some of your, your items that you own, um, if you see them as a liability or an asset. Uh, so feel free to reach out if you have any questions on the subject here about assets and liabilities. Um, otherwise, I'll see you later.